Welcome everyone to Are You Hardcore for August 2019, where this month we are in a two-dimensional world. That means I can't go past that, I can't go past that. I could go into the water there, or I could go this way. Now, I do have to worry about getting the... Oh, that's right, because as I travel along... <laughs> All right. There are limits where I go, and apparently these are the dimensions of where everything is. Oh, that's my dimensional bob. All right, I need. Do I need to get some? Wait, everything's here all over the place, isn't it? Uh, I'm gonna need a weapon. I think I could get the wood from this tree. Good. There's a. See some sort of hide in here. Because it's hard to tell exactly what it's gonna be doing. It looks like it goes one, two, two below. And two above or something like that. So those are the dimensions on how high this thing is. And we can't go outside of that area. Now, you do realize... <laughs> what is this? Oh, I'm being invaded by sheep. Alright, let's see. What do we have here? Let's start out by getting a few sticks. A crafting because I am going to need a bed because I'm certainly not going to survive out here at night. So what I'm going to do is I don't like killing sheep for wool, but I don't see myself as having much of a choice in this particular challenge. All right, there you go. All right, now. See other white sheep this way? It says I need three sheep of the same color in order to do this right. If I see it... Okay, there's a third white sheep up there. That way I could be able to make a bed. But <laughs> oh, these farm animals are going to make it real interesting. Anyway, in this month's challenge, we are in a 2D world. Now, I am allowed to go into Oh, that was a that's the black sheep that's up there. Where's there? Oh, no, there, there there's a white sheep up there. Okay. Okay, there you go. And All right. So now I have enough to make a bed. Good. Now, you get 20 minutes every single 20 minutes, I believe, is renewal rate. In other words, not by day, but by episode, I believe. I could double check that at some point. This says, it just says Dimension Mabob. All right. There you go. Now I have a bed, so I at least take care of that. I won't be able to... Uh-huh. This is a two-dimensional world. I guess the two dimensions are up and... Okay. Up, down, and forward and backwards. So that's what they mean by two dimensions. Are those four fish taking trouble going on through there? Oh well. But we are going to have to find some way in which... Now, so that means I could go vertically and I go forward and backwards, but I just can't go left and right. You, just, you're, you have only two blocks wide in which you can go. Usually what I think of being is in two dimensions, up down is usually the one that's left off, but in this case it's a bit different. And as we move around, we
we deal with various potential obstacles. Anyway, this month's challenge is just to survive in this weird world. In this, I can't call it flatland because it's it's a little bit different in Weston now. I do want to make sure I do at some point head out 3D. I think you get teleported back to your section as soon as the time runs out when you have the two minutes. I want to find something that's going to be really, really useful to and where I could do something useful for two minutes before I go around and using the dimension of Bob. Yeah, you know, getting in my way like that is probably not a recipe for survival. Well, it's a good thing I went to a place that where the farm animals are spawning within the corridor rather than out of it, because I think getting some good stuff is quite possible here. Hey. Oh, I can get it. <laughs> oh. All right, looks like I get at least some of the stuff. Some of it might come out instead of in, but all right. I'll probably have to do some digging and mining and stuff like that. Well, sort of. This thing sort of starts the mine for you. The only thing is you can't do too much with it at this time. Hmm. Anything there that's useful? Well, there's just a cow and there. The question is, what do I want to do? It's all right, fine. I survive. Okay. Not too... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Try to survive and thrive in a two-dimensional world. This is going to be... Well, I suppose going up a little bit like this is one way to... Of course, maybe I should just mine through the mess. Right? I suppose that's a possibility. That way I can at least start getting the mining stuff done. I am going to have to create some... Let's see, craft something here. Alright, what have we got here? Hmm. I just try to think, is there anything that I need so much that I wish to go 3D? Maybe, possibly, when I'm under under the surface, I'll come up with something there. Maybe I should have also made the shovel. Yeah, if you're going to be running into a lot of dirt, a shovel is something that is going to be useful here. See, I've got... All right, I will make a cobble. Ooh. Nah, I still, I still have a way to get sticks. All right. So what I'm going to need is a cobblestone pickaxe. And I suppose I'm stuck with a... Well, a wooden shovel will do for now. I might not need one so much that... It'll make much of a difference. There you go. Now, I will, of course, need a regular axe at some point. Now, this month, we are not supposed to go into the nether. I want that coal, I think. Alright, I want coal. What happens if I try to mine it here? I can't mine it because it's outside the block. So I can get some of this right at the border, but not some of this outside the block. Okay, well then. How's the... How's the time on this? We're about to hit... Sunset. Oh. I'll almost grab those while I'm at it. Hmm. I uh, depends on how much lag there is on whether or not it's getting near time to sleep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
hit the bed here. It's at 10 minutes right now, so it should be pretty close to sleepy time. Apparently, I'm not perfect in my calculations here. Oh, probably because I spent a little time on a... Oh, there we go. All right, good. Yeah, so this month we are allowed to sleep. Now it's hardcore, so I don't need it for the spawn point. And now, let's see. I want to use this. Oh, it's sort of a door? Oh, it's a door that lets me out? All right. I know you think. I need coal so much that I'm using my dimensional bob for coal. I know that sounds pathetic, especially since I probably could have made charcoal or something like that. Maybe I should have done that for iron. Probably tomorrow's would be for iron. And the one after that could probably be for some other material. Now we need two minutes about here. I think I got about one minute through here. Now, what I should do is create some torches, so at least I light this place up, because we don't want hostile mobs popping in within my little corridor here. There you go. Yeah, I can't go in there, but I can go in and out here. Well, oh, actually, I probably should put it there. I don't know if I could put it on this wall. <laughs> actually, I can. All right, fine. I could put it on the right side, so I could do my tradition of putting it on the right side. So put it onto the invisible wall. Now, I have a feeling that's going to disappear a bit in a while. So what I should do then is dig here as much as possible just in case there is some just in case there's some iron here just outside since I have plenty of opportunity okay it, it threw me all the way up here okay dokey but it gives you a warning at least before it happens and oh I was wondering, is that diorite going to disappear? It did eventually. And now, we continue on and see what we can do in this two-dimensional world. It almost feels more like a one-dimensional world to me because, yes, you do have up and down, but... A bit limited on that. So we'll continue on there. Boom, boom. And forward. Yeah, this is going to be... It's hard to be exciting in a... linear world, and... <laughs> it feels more one-dimensional than two-dimensional, but then I guess when you're in the three-dimensional world, it feels in many ways two-dimensional, since you don't need the surface all that often. So we're not going to use that second dimension all that much. Just as you don't use the third dimension all that much, well, except done by your height and several things like that. There you go. And forward in there. So what do we do? See, we have about six... Now, five minutes left. We'll see what we can do here. I'd have to try to think of something that you could do that's interesting in a one-dimensional world here. And, yeah, I think I'm going to keep on referring to it as a one-dimensional world simply because, yeah, you don't have all that much choice as to what you do with that second dimension. All right, there you go. And you'll need this. I, so I, and why did I decide I was just going to... That's right, because I didn't feel like climbing on there. So I thought, well, maybe I could get some resources. Now, what can I build? 
That's an interesting thought. And that's a wooden pickaxe. Well, that's right, because that's that wooden pickaxe I started out way at the beginning. Now, I really make, should make some... Make some stone tools. That will be handy, because now I have plenty, 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 plenty of stuff here. And I have to think of something to build, because I think that's one of the bits of the challenge here, is to build something in this rather limited world that you're in. And trying to come up with a like, like what can you design a, a wall? I mean, what else is going to be fitting in this world? Can't build a full-fledged home or anything like that because you've you're only too wide. And up and down is a rather strange way of living there. Oh yes, right. I also wanted to create a stone axe. So I'll have that available since the other axe is going to be breaking in the near future. So now we head on forward and see what happens and run to a creeper. I have a feeling that survival is not going to be the main challenge here. It's going to be figuring out what to build? Because I really can't think of too many things that could be done. I know there are some pixel arts that could be done in such a dimension. And that could be a bit of a challenge, trying to do pixel art in such an environment. And of course, you won't be able to have a look at what you're doing all that well. Hmm. I think that's. It's, I think it's going to come out to be something like that. Some sort of piece of art, then would be a good place to build that, because I almost think that it would be probably best to go all the way down out to an end, set up shop there, and that this is going to be mainly for mining. Now, I'm not going to have any iron, it looks like. Of course, the fact that I'm at 65, yeah, I'm a little bit high for iron. I didn't think about that, did I? <laughs> of course! We are starting a little bit high on the ground, and... I think going down a little bit might be able to get me some iron. Not easily, of course. But we'll have to deal with that as we come along. Now, I was wondering how far we have to go in before we hit the other side of this, because is there... Anything nice on the other side of the mountain? I don't know, but but we are going to find out soon enough, or maybe not. So today's first challenge is to mine through a hill. Once I do that, the next challenge is going to be to come up with something nice to display there. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Well, that's coal. Well, I can't go after that coal. But if I see any iron down there... Woohoo! Well... Mm -hmm. Now, Ed said that there are ten different... Oh, okay. Well, good thing I checked for this. That there are ten different possible Uh huh. Oh. That's where he came. I was wondering what in the world happened there. Jeez. I want to make sure I don't destroy every location. Of course, this is... Well, it looks like that's the end of the episode. When we return next time, we are going to probably do a little bit of exploration in here, then get back to the starting area where we can 
do some serious mining preparation and then think exactly what we want to build in the next episode of the Ray Oh oh of Ari Hardcore 4 August of 2019.